Hello and welcome to 9design 3D again. In this character modeling part 2, we will make our characters clothes, materials, skin textures and other details. For the part 1, you can check link in description. Let's go to the tutorial. For the hair part, I won't show in this video because I made a video for this for detailed explanation. You can go from the top right card and check this character's hairstyle, how I made it because this video will be too long and I don't want to make bored of you for watching all the tutorial. I have some videos on my YouTube channel, you can check others. Hair cards process for the game ready characters. Now let's make some corset and blouse type for our characters. We will use our characters body for making our clothes, that will be easy. In tap to edit mode, you can choose some faces from your character, shift it to duplicate it, P and selection. And we can change everything how we want. You can add extra loop cuts and giving some different details for this. I will make it a bit of corset type with removing some of my vertices and delete some of these clothes faces. For the top, we will E to extrude these vertices and you can add extra loop cuts middle of it for the breast part. You can give a shape for these clothes. For the middle part of it, you can delete this belly button type of vertices and you can E to extrude this top vertex, merge at center bottom ones and F to fill these four vertices, make same thing for the other. With the adding subdivision surface modifier, as you see it's too smooth. For the belt part, you can shift it to duplicate it again at the same method with choosing some faces and P selection. You can make yourself a belt if you want. With moving your vertices, give a shape for this. After all of that, select all, E to extrude, right click and Alt S to scale. And you can add extra loop cuts for top and bottom of your belts. And with the proportional edit help, as the same method we made before for the head and body, you can give a shape like this. For the skirt part, we will add a circle in here and scale it and choose checker, select, deselect. For the deselect and select part, you can give a shape like this and ask to scale. Choose all of it with A and E to extrude down. With the choosing your top vertices, right click loop tool circle. And now you can give a shape. How you want, if you want, you can leave it like a skirt or you can separate it. I will delete half of it. I will place it for the side and adding extra loop cuts. You can add subdivision surface modifier with level viewports 1. You can add mirror modifier and check your clipping. As a mirror object, you can choose your belt and G to move some of your vertices and move your mirror modifier top of the subdivision surface modifier or skirt part will look like this. If you want, you can add a solidify modifier too and don't forget to move top of the other modifiers. For the giving a sharp edge lines, you can add extra loop cut. For the side part of your corset, you can add extra loop cuts and choose some faces. After choosing all faces, you can E to extrude, right click and Alt S to scale. For give a bit of bumpy shape for this and add extra loop cuts, shade smooth. For the belt, you can make same thing, E to extrude, right click, Alt S to scale and add extra loop cuts. For the necklace leather part, I am shifted to duplicate it, some part and P selection. You can give a shape how you want. If you want, you can make some ethnical ornament type for the necklace. We will make it. After moving some of the vertices, I am giving a shape for my characters. I want to make it a bit medieval style and I am giving a shape like this. You can E to extrude some of your faces for the back part. You can continue to E to extrude and close them together. Select all with A, E to extrude, right click and Alt S to scale. For the making sharp edge lines, you can add extra loop cuts with Ctrl R. From the free svg.com, I downloaded some ornaments and leaves parts of the svg files from here. I downloaded this page ornament and this leaf ornament. 
Now, from the file, import and scalable vector graphics. Choose your SVG file from here. As you see, it came in like the curve. You can change your curve settings and decrease your resolution with this. And after that, you can right click and convert to mesh. Scale and place where you want this ornament and delete these materials. You can add some solidify modifier and check your thickness. We will give some metallic color it too and it will look good. For the leaves, you can use same method. Convert to mesh and delete some other parts. Scale, place, delete half of it. Decrease your resolution and give some solidify it too. With the same method, you can use this method, but if it's too dense and too complicated for you for giving some anti the topology, you can model it from the reference image or your SVG file. For the arm shield, you can choose some faces from your character's arm, shift it to duplicate it, P and selection, and you can E to extrude some part of it. Or if you want, you can add extra loop cuts as the same method. For giving some other solid shape, you can choose some faces E to extrude, right click and as to scale process. You can continue it. I'm not making any extra things as we made before for the belt, skirt and corset. I am using the same method for the clothes too. For the shoes, you can choose some faces, shift it to duplicate P selection and separate it. Choose bottom vertices, E to extrude them down and rotate some vertices in here and scale. Continue to extrusion. For the front faces, you can choose some of your vertices and after fill, give a good topology for your foot. From the bottom part faces, you can delete them. And after that, choose this edge line, E to extrude it down, S, Z, 0 and move smooth your some vertices too. In the wireframe mode, you can give a shape for your boots and E to extrude it down again. For the bottom part, with the same method, choose some four vertex and F to fill. For the other side of it, you can make same thing. For the shoes, you can choose some faces from it and X delete faces, move some of your vertices and give a shape how you want. We made different shoe and high heels models before, you can go from the top right car or link in description, you can find different type of making high heels and shoes, you can check my other videos. Let's add some materials, for the eyes, we will add an ice material and with the plus icon for the second material, we will add an iris material. Choose your eyes and assign your second material for the middle of it. In shading tab, we will add gradient texture and change it spherical with Ctrl T for adding mapping nodes. You can set up your values like me and texture coordinates UV to vector connect them together. After that, you can add color ramp with the middle three nodes. Change your colors from here and select all U and project from view bounds. When you unwrap like this, it will be corrected. With the sliding your color ramp nodes, you can give a nice color like this and decrease your roughness. For the eyelashes, we will shift you to duplicate some faces from the top eyelids, E to extrude and give an eyelashes shape. For the eyebrows, we will make same thing too. Add a material for eyelashes. With the adding image texture, connect your color to color and color to alpha. And choose your eyelashes material. Under the blend mode, you can change it alpha hashed. In the UV edit tab, you can use the smart UV project for this. From the UV map, you can set it up with moving your vertices for eyelashes to your mesh. And you can add some color ramp for giving some eyelashes color too. I will get some color 
from my hairs with the picker. For the eyebrows, we will make same thing. Connect your color to base color and color to alpha. Blend mode will be alpha hashed. You can use the smart UV project if you want. Give a shape for your eyebrows. And with the color ramp, you can change your color of eyebrows. For the corset and others, I downloaded this fabric material from the mbcg.com and I downloaded this leather material. I will use them for my character clothes. Before all of this, we have to unwrap. You can choose some edge lines from your corset and right click mark seam. Or if it's too confusing for you, you can use U and UE Smart Project. If you want to make some unwrap, you can add extra detailed mark seams for some of your clothes. With the shading tab, you can add new leather material, pressing Ctrl Shift D and choose your leather textures. It will look like this, it's not stretching and it's good. You can add extra mark seams with choosing your edges and right click. And for the back, you can again add, a, add some mark seam and U and unwrap. After that, you can add your leather material with two and it won't stretch anymore. For the shoes, we will add some mark seams for some edges with the critical lines. Make same thing for the other boots too. You can use to unwrap if it's not suitable for you. As I said before, the magic of the UV unwrap process is smart UV project. You can use this in the blender. And you can add your leather material too. For the necklace, we are making same thing with the Smart UV project. If you want, you can use it as I said before. For the skirt, top and bottom edge lines, you can use to unwrap it and add your fabric material in here too with, with the same method, pressing Ctrl Shift T. If you want to change your texture color, you can add color ramp node, middle of your image and Principal BSDF and change your color. I made it a bit green. For the metal part of our ornaments, I downloaded this metal material from the ambientcg.com. You can use this. I added some metallic material with the same method. For the corset metal parts, you can add second material and assign the second material for your clothes. Let's add some skin texture for our character. Before all of this, from the Google, you can search some skin color palette as an hex code or you can download this type of image texture. Hide all of your hairs and clothes from your character and apply your mirror modifier. Now, we will add some mark seam and we will have to make some unwrap process for our character too. For the neck, choose edge line and mark seam. For the inner eye hole, make same thing around the mouth area too. And for the head, for the shoulders, you can choose some parts and add some mark seam for your edge lines. For the hands, I am making same process too. For the back and legs, I am making mark seam. For the boots and toes, Choose some of it and right click mark seam too. Make same thing for the other foot. For the back, I am adding a mark seam too. If you want, you can choose your same edge line and right click clear your seam too. After all of that, select all of it A and U to unwrap. Our map will be look like this. If it's not suitable for you, you can clear some seam areas from the back and you can use to unwrap it again. Now, let's add some material for our character. With the adding new material as a skin material, add an image texture with Shift A, connect your color to base color, press new button and give it a name for your skin base. With the width and height, we will make it 4K. And after that, press OK.
From the left texture part, you can choose your skin base material too. And go to texture paint mode. Now choose your fill brush. And after that, from the left, open your skin palette image. With the pressing E, you can get a picker. Get your color from the left texture part. With the left click, you can add it to your character. Now it's time to make paint some a bit of makeup style. With the brush tool, with the changing your strength and radius from the top. With the F changing your brush size, you can get a darker color a bit and give some shadows for your character's face. And with the blur brush, you can give a smooth transition between the colors. I will make speed up this process because I'm only painting like this. If you want to take back your process from the shadows, you can choose your light color again and paint it too. For the cheeks, you can choose some pink or peach color. For the body, you can add some shadow them too. From the skin base material, don't forget to open it and don't forget to save as your skin texture. For the lips, we will choose a darker color and we will start to paint it. You can give some blur for the smooth transition too. Which type makeup you want, you can make it. Or if you want, you can add extra tattoo or different shape. In the cycles, this makeup will look like this. For the skin, I will download some freckles as a PNG file. I downloaded this freckle image. Now we will add an image texture in here too. And with the pressing new, you can add new freckle image. And as a color, decrease your alpha zero and press OK. Now we will add a mix color node. You can connect your skin base to the A and this freckles to the B and freckles alpha to the factor. We will use for this the stencil method. Choose new brush and open up your freckle. From the top under the texture, choose your freckle texture and mapping node, change it to the stencil. As you see, it came in here with the right click with the holding, you can move this, the control shift, you can rotate it. Move where you want and with the left mouse button, you can add your freckles for your characters, how you want. And which part you want, you can add this character's body. I am making this type of freckles it too. For the body tattoo or paints, you can make something with the brush tool. Or you can download some like the PNG files as a freckles. You can use some pencil method for adding some tattoos. Before all of that, for the hair, you can right click and convert it to mesh. As you see, this is real low poly, lovely hair. Choose all of it. And after that, go to File, Export and FBX. To copying your path mode, selected object. Under the Aku rig, I will add some rigging from the Actor Core. You can download this freely and you can use some of animations. I'm importing my FBX model in here. And I will rig my body. If it's OK for you, you can move your some control vertices. Rig your hands. And move your control vertex. And after all of that, finalize your character. Which pose you want, you can choose from there. But under the preview motion, download 32 free motions as you see. From their website, you can download some different animation and pose types with the freely. After all making them, I will export my character from here. Export your FBX target application as a blender and export. From this GitHub page, you can download this CC Blender tools. 
In the Edit, Preferences and install your zip file from here and activate your add-on. Pressing N, from here we will import our rigged character. After that, it will be came in here like this. Again, under this plugin, you can press Rigify. Now, after all of that, you can give some pose to your character how you want. For the materials, you can choose your base character material. After that, you can choose your rigged material, Ctrl L and link material. You can set it up your materials like this method. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want, you can join my channel or you can thanks to me with the super thanks. See you later in new tutorials.